You ever feel like your head is in a vice, just closing in on you, just pressure, pressure, just under pressure. Do you feel that way? Because we're going we're to talk about pressure today. And I want to stay close to my notes because I want to make sure that, that I stay on course. The question was, do you ever feel so much, uh, there's so much to do that you don't know where to begin? Maybe you sometimes feel overburdened by others' expectations of you or disappointed with the progress you've made. Hmm. Pressure is an everyday part of our working lives, philosopher Thomas Carlyle said. No pressure, no diamonds. Suggesting that in manageable doses, pressure can energize and motivate you to perform and achieve. But too much pressure however, can tip the balance the other way. So the question becomes, how are you coping with pressure? Because we all have it. We all have pressure from life, from relationships, from family. But where does your pressure come from? Where are you feeling pressured? Where do you feel this burden? Where do you feel this constant anxiety? Well, there are two kinds of pressure. There's internal and external, okay? Internal pressure, uh, that stems from you pushing yourself too hard. Self-induced. It would be the same with me just worrying about a sermon. Just, I'm just out of whack because, I, oh, I got to get ready for Sunday. I got to get ready. I got to have something that's viable, something that makes sense. It's got to be from God. I've got to... Or do I trust my work? Do I trust my study? Do I trust the power of the Holy Spirit? Do I trust? Now, yes, I have to work and yes, I have to study and yes, I have to labor in the word of God. But do I trust that? Do you trust what you do? Do you trust your abilities to do? Or do you worry about every little thing even after you've put in all of the time all of the training, everything that you need to be successful, you still find yourself worrying. Those are internal pressures and, and, and you can drive yourself to places you don't want to be. Now, external pressure comes from the circumstances of the people around you and the circumstances around you. Uh, you know, trying to reach everybody's expectations, trying to be everything to everybody all the time, feeling that if you're not everything to everybody, then you're failing or you're falling be your, below your capabilities. I've been there many a time as a pastor. I had to learn how to manage that. Are you? Are you learning how to do that? Because if you don't, it can affect you mentally, emotionally, physically in so many negative ways. So we have to ask ourselves, how are we coping with it? Well, listen to what the Bible says about coping with, with, with pressures of life. And the Bible can be so simplistic, we just play it off. It has to be more than that. It has to be more than that. Wow. You just can't just say that and that makes everything all right. Listen to this, Matthew 6, 24, 34, Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. My dad used to say it this way, boy, don't cross a bridge two times. Wait till you get to the bridge and cross it. Why would you worry about it before you get there? There are some things we worry about that we can't control. So what's the point of the worry? If the worry is not going to change it, what's the point of the worry? You need to manage that. It's not something I'm telling you, oh, you just got to get better at it and overdo it because I don't know how to tell you how to do it, but you got to manage it. And then Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. At least pray for comfort, pray for direction, pray for God to help you in your pressure situation. Why would you simply allow the vice to just close tighter 
and tighter and tighter until it's unbearable and yet you have no solution. So there are many ways through counseling, through the word of God, through prayer, at the very least, try to find ways to deal with your pressure. You can't get rid of them, but you can manage them and cope with them. Would you at least think about it?